Good morning. This is Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. The Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled more than 600 points on Wednesday as investors took profits on some of the strong 2023 January gains and as a disappointing December retail sales reading raised concerns about a recession. Shares of banks led the losses. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 1.8%, whilst the S&P 500 lost 1.6%. The Nasdaq Composite lost 1.2% and was on pace for its first down day in the last eight. All sectors were down, with communication services and information technology the best performers of the bunch, down 0.94% and 1.3% respectively, whilst consumer staples got whacked the hardest, falling by 2.65%. In response to the overnight fall, Young Yu Ma, Chief Investment Strategist for BMO Wealth Management, stated, We've had such a strong start to the year, but now we're amid a tense earnings season. In company news, Microsoft announced plans to lay off about 10,000 employees, which hurt investor sentiment. The stock has fallen and dragged the Dow lower with it. The overnight drop was also spurred on by investors digesting the latest real retail sales data, which showed a drop of 1.1% in December, slightly more than the 1% forecast. They also weighed the latest reading on the producer price index, which measures input costs from companies. The PPI showed a 0.5 decline for December. Economists surveyed by Dow Jones expected a 0.1% decline. That briefly gave relief to investors who have hoped for inflation to retreat for the Federal Reserve to slow its rate hiking campaign. Investors have been enjoying strong upward momentum for the stocks since the start of the year, although many have begun to doubt the market's strength. The Dow is still high by 1% for the month, while the S&P and Nasdaq are still up by 3% and 5% respectively. The US dollar touched a seven-month low on Wednesday, reversing a trend that dominated much of 2022 as lower expectations of sharp Federal Reserve rate rises eased pressure on global markets. To commodity news, electric vehicle makers are hoping that an imminent wave of lithium supply will bring relief for their expansion plans after a two-year squeeze, but there is possibility of more pain to come if producers fail to deliver. There are many skeptics who warn regarding fresh tightness if miners from Chile to China and Australia hit hurdles in launching daunting volumes of new supply. A cause of optimism on supply is that the largest increases will be coming from the top producers, like Albemarle Corp and Chile's SQM, that are considered more likely to succeed. However, the key issue is whether less established producers will be able to deliver in full by defining a range of regulatory, technical and commercial challenges. There is also a new dispute brewing as the EU leaders try to fight back against the US's Inflation Reduction Act. To recap, Europeans and others have spent years calling on the US to take climate more seriously. Now that it has, they accuse the White House of protectionism because of sweeping climate legislation passed last year that would try to reshore clean energy supply chains in the US. As Europe reports, the EU is about to loosen its own restrictions on subsidies to speed up more domestic clean energy investment. Take that, Biden. The energy watchdog lifted its forecast for oil demand growth this year by nearly 200,000 barrels a day to 1.9 million barrels a day. The extra demand means the IEA now expects a total oil demand this year to average 101.7 million barrels a day, well above pre-COVID levels and a record amount. On the other side, natural gas prices have tumbled to fresh lows due to its continued sell-off, ending today's session at the lowest closing price in 19 months. The market is flashing bearish signals as mild winter weather curbs demand and production remains strong. Liquefied natural gas exports are also stumbling due to the continued shutdown of the Freeport LNG export plant in Texas. And China's tech stocks have staged a $700 billion rally as the country remain, reopens and a regulatory clampdown on the sector loosens, drawing the attention of the international asset managers who fled the market in recent years. Hong Kong's Hang Seng in Tech Index, which is stacked with Chinese companies, has soared almost 60% from its lows last October, with heavyweights such as Tencent and Alibaba gaining $350 billion dollars combined in market value, according to Financial Times calculations based on Bloomberg data. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% fall. Thank you for listening.